What's up guys, the One UI 7 Beta 3 update is here. So let's go ahead and go over what's actually new here. And let's go ahead and head into our settings here. Software update, it was a 1.2 gigabyte update here. There wasn't a ton of new stuff here, but it immediately was a much smoother update was something that I noticed here. And let's go ahead and I'll briefly show you guys the change log here. So add the option to switch left and right to open the quick panels and then we also have a four by one widget so I'll show you guys those two things here so you can see I can swipe left to open up my quick panels here if I go to edit panel settings and then I go ahead and mark that off now so now I can pull it up from oh, I didn't even do it right oh there it is alright so you can see I, I did it from left to right so you can go ahead and do that I guess that's for people who are you know left handed and stuff like that um, and then also for the widgets, so I'll show you guys, we have new widgets now, so if we go to, well not necessarily, not new widgets, but um, there's a new widget size. So you can see the 4x1 widget, so again, this is going to add to the customization of, you know, what you're trying to do here. It looks like this, like, glitched out or something like that. Again, still a little buggy here, so I don't know, like that, that just glitched out. Let's um, do device care four by one hopefully this works okay that one worked so yeah you can see a little bit buggy uh, still so they're gonna iron this stuff out uh, by you know the time the s25 comes out but one thing that I noticed is like scrolling on the home screen is a lot smoother it feels a lot snappier and you know this little like sometimes you get that little animation lag when coming over to the Google news feed thing and that is going too so it's overall just a lot more snappier uh, so that's something that I really like. Animations also feel a little bit smoother now. And um, it just feels really, really quick. So that's something that was really nice. Which is interesting because I thought it was already like pretty fast. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure by the time the final one comes out, these animations will really be buttery smooth here. But yeah, everything feels just, uh, just a little bit snappier. That's the first thing I actually noticed here. There's also new charge sounds as well for the fast charging. So we'll do that one more time. A little small change is Samsung actually made the battery icon a little bit bigger for some reason. So if you hate the new battery icon, it's going to be bigger now. <laughs> and um, yeah, what else was there? Uh, we had the, well I'll just go over the change logs. Uh, for you guys so you guys can read it was mostly just like bug fixes and stuff like that so it wasn't like a ton of new stuff they're just kind of ironing stuff out you can see vertical scroll inconvenience and app drawer game booster change screen playback uh, we got another game booster a lot of stuff in game booster default scanning rate 120 hertz settings Samsung message modify exception when saving MMS image improve quick panel closing operation so if you were having some type of lag with that fix lock screen AOD status bar icon notification icon alignment error and then you can see just a few more errors and stuff like that so just little like bugs people were reporting I guess uh, but that is pretty much it you know not as exciting as the you know other updates but uh, definitely a, a performance improvement here for sure so we can expect this to you know start to wrap up the beta program when we get closer to this launch of the uh, S25 later this month so be sure to subscribe and let me know what you guys think